find this and other great figures at BigBadToyStore.com. What's going on guys? Bolt Matrix here and today we are taking a look at Transformers Combiner Wars Legends Class Huffer. Now this figure is a repaint and slight retool of the original Optimus Prime Legends class figure that I have already reviewed last year. So he is orange and blue and silver. Let's open him up and take a look. Out of the box, Huffer looks pretty good. I like the orange, the blue, and the silver look to him. It overall works pretty well. This wasn't my favorite Legends figure by any stretch of the imagination, but for Huffer, I think the mold works, especially in robot mode. He's got a good head sculpt, the gun is cool, and just overall, he looks pretty darn good. Huffer's head sculpt is pretty darn good. I like it. It's got nice paint. The the paint on the face is good. The eyes painted are good. It's not bad at all. In fact, it's just darn good. Huffer has okay posability, ball joint in the knees, in the hips, and in the elbows, and in the shoulders. You can flail these bits on the top of the shoulders out a little bit, but it really doesn't do anything other than give you just a little bit more posability. Head is on a swivel. So, it's got some decent posability. However, like the original Prime figure, you do have this weird... I'm not sure what to call it, because there's no real way to pose the windows such that the arms are, or shoulders are pointing straight forward, and thus exposing the Autobot symbol. It's the same problem that the original Prime figure had continues on to this figure. Not a huge deal, but it is annoying. Huffer's transformation is very simple, so let's go ahead and get into it. As I said, Huffer's transformation was pretty easy, and the vehicle mode you end up with actually works pretty well for the little dude. I do wish the feet would fold up. They are just one big hollow piece of plastic, so there is that. The gun does attach here to the top, but that looks absolutely ridiculous. Overall, though, I think the vehicle mode works, but... Well, you know what? I'm going to scratch that. For Prime, this didn't work so well, but for Huffer... I think this works pretty well. Overall, Huffer is an okay little figure. He is definitely a slight retool and repaint of an already existing Optimus figure, but I'm okay with that because, well, we get another Huffer. I still think the best Huffer we've officially ever gotten is the Huffer that was a redo of, Arm of Cybertron Armor Hide. That was my favorite Huffer. Otherwise, this one's okay. I would love to see Huffer get a full deluxe class generations figure, but we all know that's probably not going to happen. So if you want, I would go out and get the third party not Huffer sets that are out there or not Erector. That's not to say this guy is bad or anything. I just think if you really need to get a good G1 esque Huffer fix, Wait, that, that really sounded weird. Anyway, if you really need to get yourself a G1-centric Huffer, I would go third party. So guys, thank you for watching this video review. I've been Ball Matrix, asking you to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to catch my next video review.